Hello there everyone, welcome back to Vanshare. In this video, I am going to share with you how I got my first internship as an Android developer intern in my first set. So before that, let me introduce you all to myself. My name is Devansh Pratap Singh. I am an Android enthusiast, founder and lead at Oreo Droiders community. So I just completed my recently, I just completed my Android internship uh, at Vasukam which is uh, basically a startup by IIT Bombay Alumni. So like let's break down into key points I'll share okay. So the first thing is like what helped me in getting internship. Before that what most important is to be aware or to break this myth that you can get a you cannot get a internship in the first year. Like when I was in the my uh, in my first sem like I used to tell my friends that I am looking for internship like yeah, my friends used to say that you cannot get an internship in your first year. Okay, so but I I knew that if I had skills and if I have worked hard on my skills, then I can definitely get internship. That year 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 stuff does not matter. So so like it's like first believe that you are you can get internship if you really have good skills in that domain. If you have really good projects, you can get internship. Okay. It's nothing like rocket science stuff. So the second thing is I have a strong LinkedIn network, strong LinkedIn profile. Okay. The internship I got is through the LinkedIn. I applied it through LinkedIn. So if you are like uh, getting started in college or if you are just completed your uh, first sem, first year or any other year, please maintain your like LinkedIn profile. Keep it updated be like connect with our amazing folks who are there like uh, sharing all, all stuff related to tech you can get opportunities even from LinkedIn so create your LinkedIn profile keep it updated with all your certificates and projects okay and stuff so and also one thing like most of the folks what they do is like they connect uh, only make connections with their friends though make connections with your friends but try to also connect with folks who are like outside your network who are like in tech industries who are working professionals okay connect with them so important thing is to have your strong social profile it really helped me help me out okay uh, i applied uh, to my internship through linkedin so the first thing is in uh, linkedin keep your linkedin or twitter whatsoever but i would prefer like linkedin huh uh, updated The second thing is like what matters if you are like getting started okay I'm assuming that you are just getting started in tech and you have no knowledge and no motivation and stuff so what you can do is attend meetups meetups tech conferences and stuff what will happen is you are not going to gain any technical stuff uh, knowledge there but what you will gain is awareness you will come to know about folks who are doing extremely well you'll get inspired it really helps i have seen my friends who are like uh, they they did not have any prior knowledge in coding and like when they started uh, going to tech conferences meetups like this so they really got inspired from the folks who are there uh, meeting them uh, seeing them doing so well and uh, yeah it really helps and now they are doing like, they are also like uh, working hard on their skills so attend those meetups do and some amazing are like they fest go organized by google try to attend them and also what you can do is in meetups you can really like you can ask face to face from the working professionals from people in tech who are doing extremely well you can ask your doubts you can ask how to get started you can get your query resolved like whatsoever doubt you are you can like directly contact them face to face okay so like if you are uh, just getting started and don't know how to get started and stuff and lacking motivation to get started like try uh, attending meetups and stuff okay so from there you will get awareness and you will also meet folks who are doing extremely well and get inspired and like is the most important thing your skill okay I, I applied to Google step there is a program by Google like step uh, Google step which is a basically an internship for like uh, first uh, first year second year students 
uh, I applied to that and two times I got selected okay two times I got my resume got selected and I got rejected in the technical round so like my test cases did not I, I just for the first time and second time only I just solved one question okay and the, and like I failed failed the technical round so what matters is your projects try to build your projects okay and don't get into that of like uh, buying uh, tech courses and just to get the certificates and like yeah you everything is on youtube you can get the learn from them build your project but all, uh, what i mean to say is focus on building projects focus on learning while building if you are into android how i got started in android is like simply i got uh, got an idea of like building app so i started like like building stuff i start I started searching about stack, uh, different medium articles and uh, stack overflow articles like how to build that stuff so you can the best way to to get started is that so if you are looking to get started into Android development first have a basic knowledge of uh, programming language and then like just jump in start building projects okay great so pretty much that only your resume build projects at the end everything comes to that build projects okay and ha uh, most of some few people like uh, are asking me on twitter that uh, does they ask dsa in android internship yeah having a bit basic knowledge about dsa is important though projects also they mostly focus on the projects seeing your projects like in my case for in my case and like most of the cases what happens is like uh, in the first round it is basically an introduction round where uh, you will share about your tech stacks and your experience and stuff and uh, and uh, sometimes they might ask you uh, some DSA questions in that and in the second one like they'll give you a problem statement uh, suppose they'll say a sort of a UI uh, which you need to implement and then according to that basis they'll uh, judge you the folks who are watching till the end is I want to share about a community Oreo Droiders I am a founder and lead where I share my knowledge, Android knowledge with them, opportunities with them and also you can join Oreo Droiders which is a community for Java, Kotlin, Flutter and Android developers. You can connect to like minded folks who are getting started and also developers who are working on that. Okay, on that on those technologies you can get guidance from them. Okay, so like I have added the link in the description you can join in from that. Great. And if you have any doubt, like you can comment down below. And I have also added my LinkedIn profile and GitHub. Uh, sorry, LinkedIn and Twitter. I have also added my Twitter and LinkedIn profile. You can uh, connect with me there. Great to see you. Thank thank you for watching. In future, more I am going to create videos like these on Android and stuff opportunities in Android and like uh, getting started in Android stuff. So please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.